something that one one day I just decided I was going to because I go in sleep ago I decided to try use what I learned about Bible interpretation for this for a random verse. So I choose a chapter, Psalms 23, and I look up this verse and it just, it was so simple, but it had such deeper meaning. Psalms 23, 6, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. A lot of us don't realize what it means because we just think, of goodness as goodness and mercy as mercy. But when I was looking up the interpretation of those words, the word goodness meant the constant state of being good. It meant more integrity. And if we look at David's life, he, he didn't always have moral integrity. So I was thinking, what did it mean? And then I realized, that the way God was faithful to him, the way God, God always blessed him, always helped him, and helped him to be the king he was. And the, it really impacted me how like faithful God is to us. And mercy is compassion when you're miserable, not just when you're not just when you mess up, when you feel uh, that horrible feeling that you messed up, when you feel like nothing could ever be the same, but God picks you up again. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever, like a commitment to praising him for his good works. That's why I chose that verse. aceptado al Señor Jesucristo como tu salvador personal. Ah, en este día te bautizamos en el nombre del Padre, del Hijo y del Espíritu Santo. Amén. Señor, te bautizamos en el nombre del Padre, del Hijo y del Espíritu Santo. Señor, 
te bautizamos en el nombre del Padre, del Hijo y del Espíritu Santo. Amén.